Welcome to episode 2 of Raising Junior. First of all, I'd like to thank you for the positive feedback we received about episode 1. We're still new at this movie making hobby, so we're trying to improve on the episodes as we go. So now that we have the car on the frame, we can start doing some actual bodywork. Before that, I'd like to clarify that I'm not a professional car restorer, I just do this as a hobby in my own garage, um, and I've done a couple of restorations in the past where I learned some tips and tricks of the trade. I also watch way too many car TV programs and the restorations, which do help, but don't make you a professional. So, enjoy today's episode. Now look at that mess. So, finally with the car vertical, we can start removing the old floor pans. I used a combination of cutting discs on a grinder and spot, spot weld drills to remove the, the spot welds over here. As you can see, there was a lot of previous repairs. There's about three layers of sheet in there, so when the holes started to appear, they just kept on adding new panels um, to keep the water out. Before we remove, we can see some other rust repair we need to carry out. This square press section is a part which I don't have, which we'll try to fabricate later. Also the bottom edge of this panel. This edge will be filled in by the new floor pan. Here we fabricated this jig and reinforcement panel. It holds together the gearbox mount with the chassis rail to the clutch pedal assembly. This part is um, welded to the floor pan, so if we remove it, we will lose all the location. Like this, with this jig, we can hold the correct position when we weld it back on. This angle here keeps it, helps it keep reference. And we also made a cardboard template for this slot over here, as it's part of the old floor pan, which the, floor, the new floor pan doesn't have, so we need to mark and cut before we weld it in. Moving the old floor pan, we're trying to fit in the new one. We needed to bend the edges a little bit to fit the width, but overall it's uh, quite a close fit. Here we're clamping to the old uh, rusty heater channel just for dimensions, just to see the width of the pan. The next part is to fill in this uh, the square recess play uh, section. Here we can see the gap is quite close. We'll be repairing the other panel too. Okay. After test fitting the new floor pans, we made the template. This copied the curve on the on the inside edge of the floor pan. We will then transfer this uh, paper template onto the cardboard and we make a proper template to cut from steel. So this is what we cut so far. We did keep the, uh, the lower section of the, of the recess as it was in a better condition. The top part was gone as you have seen in the previous part. We made this template to copy the size of the actual panel we want to remove. After this we made a second template where we transferred this dimension and just made it wide enough to accommodate the flaps. Uh, this will be welded onto the body. After that, we copied uh, out of the cardboard template a steel plate. We copied the outline, and after this we're going to bend and then punch the, uh, the recess in the center, in the right location here. So next we will use this wheel to copy the radius here on the folds. We'll hold everything in the press and then we'll hammer the folds up. So 
So now we will use this elliptical dolly to smooth out from the round shape onto a straight part over here. Depending on the corners, we have some overlaps here, which we will trim with a grinder. After the trimming, we can weld them together. The item is almost finished after welding and dressing. The this came out pretty nice. Here we have the components we will use to form the recess. This is the bottom mold with a nest we made on the milling machine. Uh, I used the bone nose end mill just to have a nice radius on the inside. This is the puck that will press the recess in place into the top part. And the wooden, uh, this wooden spacer here will keep the sides of the metal from creasing, so it will be around this area here. And this nice crease, crusty piece of I-beam will be used to apply the pressure. The puck has a piece of saw bent around, like a hacksaw blade. Uh, this will give a sharp corner when we press inside the, inside the form. <laughs> So this is the panel with the recess formed in, came out, came out very close to the original one. And this is the original recess we wanted to copy over here. As you can see it has a sharp corner on the top and just a bit of a radius around here. We use the grinding disc and a flap wheel to finish off to smooth out the grinds. I'm pretty happy with how it came out, bar for a little distortion here in the middle. Um, the results are quite good. Here we can see the finished repair after a coat of well true primer. I couldn't, I couldn't do all this work without some extra help. One of my helpers is my niece Julia, which I'd like to bring on camera. Come on Julia. Come on, don't be such a baby. This is my little niece Julia. I hope the car is finished before she's able to drive. <laughs>